Right then, today is the day. Today I pick a new driver. As you know, earlier in the week, I got fitted for both the new Callaway AI Smoke and the Ping G430 10K Max. Today, I'm putting them both head to head to see which one is gonna earn the right to be in my bag in 2024. I've done a lot of testing in the studio and on the driving range, but in this video, I'm getting out on the course. I'm at Spalding Golf Club, a beautiful course, and I'm gonna play five holes. I'm gonna hit two tee shots, one shot with the Callaway and one shot with the Ping. I'm gonna take the best tee shot and play the rest of the hole with that ball. Whichever driver has the most tee shots has the best chance of going in my bag. And I've got one final test right at the end of the video, which may be a tiebreaker. It is windy. Without further ado, let's get into it. Hole one, we're gonna start with the ping. It's gonna be using the Titleist Pro V1 with a number one on it. I've been filming content all day without a glove. Really annoying. Pro shops closed, unfortunately. Nice straightforward par four. Somewhere down the middle would be perfect. Wind is hard, hard off the right. So with any luck, I can just squeeze this. Nice little fade to the middle of the fairway. Wind's gonna help that a little bit. Up the right hand side, there's a hump towards the end of the fairway, which hopefully I've been close to getting over. Next tee shot, we've got the Callaway AI Smoke using the Titleist Pro V1 with a number two. That might be a tough drive to beat. Let's see what the AI Smoke can do. That's a bit more up the left hand side. Two great tee shots, by the way. Great tee shots. One of these is definitely going in the bag. Right, let's go down and see which one of those is the best tee shot. Don't know if you can see, but here's the ridge I was talking about that's in the fairway. Now, usually my driver ends up just short of this ridge. If I hit a good one, I can get over it. But, but on average, I'm just short of this ridge and I can't see either golf ball. Well, I found the golf balls. They did both get over this ridge that I hardly ever managed to drive. But here is the ping, just right next to its pitch mark. I don't know if I can zoom in, but there is the Callaway. About 15 yards further up the fairway. So, one nil to the Callaway. Let's play the rest of this hole out, see if I can make a par from here. This is an absolute bomb drive, by the way. All right, according to my Arcos caddy, I've got 92 yards to this pin. Fairly middle of the green. Wind feels a little bit more behind than it was on the tee. So I'm just gonna go dead at this. Nice three quarter, 55 degree. Come on, wind. Oh, stay on the green. Looks like a good shot. Looks pin high to me. Now I can't fault either of those drives. Both were incredible. I mean, I barely ever get over that hump, especially in the winter. But that Callaway was a lot further down the fairway. Be interesting to see how the rest of this sort of head-to-head -head match goes. But yeah, definitely one nil to the Callaway AI smoke. Jesus, hey, just windy. Always repair your pitch mark. Oh, that flag is just making this hole even smaller than it actually is. <laughs> Tough read this. Usually it slopes from right to left, so I'm gonna sort of play that. Maybe the wind holds it up a little bit for birdie. Stay up, stay up. Ooh. Taparoo, tap in par. Tough hole that usually. On to hole number two. It's not usually a driver hole to be honest, but we're off the winter mat. Should be downwind-ish, and we should be able to reach it. Right, because the Callaway won that hole, it's going up first this time. Titleist number two still. 
Arcos is telling me that I'm 280 yards away from the hole, but it's playing 251 because of the wind. Really strong wind. We should be able to get there. Just aiming at those silver trees in the background. Let's have another good one, Callaway. Oh, it's up the left. Wind's coming back a little bit. That's such a good tee shot. That was right at the flag. Will it have gone too far though with this wind? And where is my tee? That was another well struck Callaway drive. This ping's got a bit of a match on its hands today. Let's see what we can do with it. Oh, it's high, really high. That can't be going as far, but it is downwind. So maybe that was the play. I think I just caught that ping off the top of the club. Might be a little bit of an unfair test. But then again, you do get missed strikes. It's the way it works. Good to high chance I missed strike Callaway at some point. But those two Callaway drives. Oh. And it feels amazing. Looks incredible behind the ball. And feels amazing. So this is the ping driver. Just went a little bit right. Just short of the green. It's not terrible. But I don't know if you can see that ball on the end of the green. There is the Callaway. I mean, it was right at the flag, to be fair, and that was a bomb drive. Callaway, again, 2-0. We're just off the back of the green, and actually we've gone even further off the fringe. So let me know in the comments, would you chip this or would you put this? There's a lot of fringe to get through, and winter fringe as well. Blemishes, there's undulations. I want to fly over all that. So have got the 55 degree. It says 54, but bent to 55. Green's breaking right to left. An eagle chip. Thank you, Callaway. That's not got enough juice at all. Oh, that's a bit of a waste of drive. A putt for birdie, though. We can't complain. I always take the flag out. The hole just looks a little bit bigger. Same break I read, to be honest, for the chip. This is going right to left. Unfortunately, a bit of a longer putt than I had on the first. And I only chipped this on, so a bit of a poor chip. This video ain't about my chipping. It's about which driver I'm gonna take home. Oh, sit, sit, sit. Battered it. Two pars. Simple golf. Bit of a waste of that drive. Who will take it? Hell of a drive again by the Callaway. 2-0 to the Callaway. On to hole three. This is a par five. There's two bunkers on the edge of the fairway. One left, one right. The one on the left is a little bit further than the one on the right, but I should be able to carry the one on the right. So the aim in the game, aim at the left bunker, fade it back into the middle of the fairway. It's quite narrow up there, especially when you're hitting it this far. Come on, Callaway. Can you do it three out of three? No. Four right! Ooh, that's interesting. And I broke my tee. Love a good, strong four shout. Right then, ping. Now's your time to shine. Same goal, to be honest. Aim at that left bunker and let it fade back into the middle of the fairway. Oh, that's going right as well. Two bad drives. The Callaway might just have snuck it, you know? Now with those drives, the Callaway was really poorly struck. Top of the club, off the top of the toe, and just sailed so far right. The ping was a bit more middle struck, but just had so much curve on it, and it's ended up in the trees on the right-hand side. There is another fairway over there. So if the Callaway has made it all the way over to that other fairway, they might have snuck this hole as well. That make it 3-0. We're only playing five holes. This is a cruel game, guys. I've been looking for that ping tee shot for probably more than three minutes. And I can't find it anywhere. Not fair, really. Found the Callaway. Just over there by my bag. <gasps> Got it. Here we go, ping. You didn't deserve to lose. Still, not a great tee shot. This is the shot I'm faced with. It's gonna have to be a chip out. 
Right, not the most convincing win for the ping there, but it is 2-1. But both those shots were pretty terrible. Drill a six iron, try and get between those two trees. Play this par five out. Two pars so far. Keep the par streak running. Oh, that's gotta go. Get through the trees. Just hit behind the ball a bit. We'll have a long way in from there. It's so annoying fatting a chip out to a fairway, isn't it? Maybe a bit off a bit more than I could chew there. All right then, flags at the back. Back of the green is playing 174 yards. I obviously don't want to go over the back of this green. I'll end up short siding myself, but I've got, I've got an eight iron, hoping to fly this 160 odd yards. Aim just right at the flag. Come on, wind, help me out. Help me out. Sit. Oh, that's a good shot, I think. That's a great recovery shot. I tell you something, guys, I'm not playing too badly, you know. That's another good shot. Kind of exactly where I aimed it. Well, a bit more left than I aimed it. But we've got another putt for birdie. Well, that's not what matters today. Callaway or ping. So far, the Callaway's winning, but we've got two holes to go. And the ping has a chance. Another green in regulation. Another putt at birdie. How far are we looking? One, two, three, four, five. So, 15 foot. Really good eight iron there, to be honest. Fairly straight, I think. Turn, that didn't turn at all. I have it a bit far. I hate these. It should be tappings. Let's just go for it. Nice and confident. Yeah, simple. Another par. These greens aren't as slow as I thought they'd be. Right, we've got two more drives. The fourth and the fifth holes here at Spalding. Both of these now are playing into the wind. This is gonna really test these drivers now. It's blowing hard. If I don't hit these perfectly, the River Glen is waiting to gobble up these balls. Okay, same rule applies. The ping won that last hole, so it goes first. I'm not gonna lie, I fear for the ping a little bit on this shot. Ping has been flying really high and this wind is just gonna gobble it up. So I don't expect either of these drives to go that far, but this ping might struggle. I'm gonna aim a little bit left and let this wind and my fade bring it back. This might, a good shot ends up right edge of the fairway here, yeah? even though I'm aiming down the left. Oh, yes, yes, ping. Bit of a miss strike again, but it's exactly what the doctor ordered. Hasn't gone very far, but it is windy and it is in the fairway. Interestingly, let's have a look at my strikes on the ping. Not the best strikes. Follow that, Callaway. Follow that. It's a good drive anyway, just hit this fairway today. But same deal. Aim a bit left. Let the fade and the wind bring it back to the fairway. A little bit gusty. Don't think it would have been fair to hit there. <laughs> a real test of a driver is in the wind. I feel like I'm at Pebble Beach. Gosh, it's not going to stop now, is it? Look at these trees go. <laughs> Can't hit in this. Give me a window. I'm going to stand over it. Not fair, Callaway, but those are the rules. Oh, so unlucky. I've aimed a long way left there, and it's gone a long way left. Unlucky, Callaway. The ping definitely won that one. It hasn't gone a long way at all. It wouldn't into this wind and with that high sort of spinny shot, but it was safe. The Callaway is back on the third hole and I don't have a shot over. So the ping definitely won that. I'm gonna be honest with you, when I was getting fitted, I much preferred the Callaway. I prefer the feel of it, I prefer the sound of it. When you hit it, it's hit. It feels like it's hit. And I was kind of in the back of my mind hoping that the Callaway was just going to run away with it. And those first two drives, well, I thought it was going to be a whitewash. I think I need to give the ping a bit more credit here. Ping has ended up, right, I'm right next to my Callaway ball here. And as you can see, I've got no shot at all. But over there, in the middle of the fairway, is the ping drive. And it's gone just as far. It doesn't feel like it should go as far. 
but it is. And the ping is in the middle of the fairway here. Great tee shot in that wind. We will have a long way in, but it's a good shot, a good tee shot. And maybe you just need a more forgiving club in these sorts of conditions. All right, the pin is at the back. The back of this screen is playing 222 yards. It's 30 yards of hurt in this uh, in the air today. So I'm going with a five iron and I'm hoping I can get somewhere near the middle of this screen. I'm not even aiming for the back. Oh, ho, ho, that's out of bounds. Sit down. Oh, it might have just held on. This wind is crazy. Should have taken advantage on the second and on the third hole. So get some birdies on the card here because these two holes could be card wreckers. I think this ball is just held on. It's gone absolutely nowhere. I, I hit a five iron, it felt like a middle bit. Maybe came across it just a touch. The wind has just eaten it up. This would be a tough up and down, tough ask. This hole is stroke index one to be fair. And into wind, it is definitely the hardest hole on the course. Look at this ball here. Just, just, just held on. There's the River Glen. And there's the pin. Look at this shot. Horrible. This would be an up and down to die for. I've got about 40 yards. I've got to go in the air a bit. Bit of tree trouble behind me. Into the wind. Oh, this is horrible. Right, lob wedge. Wish me luck. It's not bad, you know. Oh, that's not bad at all. What a shot. <laughs> Playing well today. Who would have thought in a driver review video, the best shot in this video is going to be with a lob wedge. <laughs> that was incredible. Now, I can't decide if I deserve a par after this hole, but I hope this goes in. A little bit right to left, 12, 13 foot. Four. Yeah, 12, 12 and a bit maybe. God, I want this par. Turn in. Oh, gutted. Bit of a gust of wind, it shouldn't have broken that much. Unlucky. How good would that up and down have been? Right then, it's the last hole. Par four, into the wind, much shorter than the fourth. Normally, it's drivable. But not today, not in this wind. I think we might be on a winter green. It's two all. Ping has brought itself back into the game a little bit, but mainly due to really poor shots from, from the Callaway. So I'm not sure where my head's at at the moment. I'm gonna let this be a bit of a tiebreaker. Right then, same deal. Ping won the hole. Ping goes first. Got two bunkers on the left hand side, usually carryable. Carryable? I think that's a word. A lot more room left. So aim at those bunkers, hope it comes back a little bit. The wind feels sort of straight into maybe a little bit off the right. Oh, ping, you beauty. That is in the middle of the fairway. It wouldn't have made the green. It's barely pin high to that bunker on the left. The further bunker, but that has not gone a long way. Where is my tee? I ain't got enough battery for this. Ah, got it. We've got more room left here, so if I have the same shot as I did on the fourth, Callaway would still be in with a shout. It's just got to fly further and have an easier shot into this pin. It's left. If it carries all of that, we might be in. This is going to be close. Interesting. The Callaway has been coming off the face more left than the ping, and it's held its line a bit better. Left is okay on this hole. But into this wind, it needs to have got beyond those trees on the left-hand side. Sorry, this isn't very steady. The wind is howling. The ping is right in the middle of the fairway again. Those two holes into the wind really opened my eyes here about which driver should be best. I hope you can hear me. I'll put subtitles on if you can't. But this is an interesting little result. Let me show you where these balls are. So here is the ping drive, it's right in the middle of the fairway, short of this bunker that I was hoping I'd fly to be honest. Right down the middle of the fairway. And over here, just by the tee box, is the Callaway drive. It's further up and it's in play. 
and it's a better angle to this pin. So I'm gonna go with the Callaway. Let me know in the comments, which one would you have chosen? I did say on the tee box that over here was okay. But would you have picked this tee shot? Annoyingly, this is a winter green. Ah, so I'm just gonna hit a lob wedge up, up there. Hope for the best. Not really sure how far away it is. Arcos obviously doesn't know how far away a winter green is. So there you have it, 3-2 to the Callaway. I feel a bit unsatisfied with that test though. I do think the Callaway is the better driver for me. I hit some really, really good tee shots. That tee shot on the first has gone a long way. It wasn't even downwind. The tee shot on the second went to the back of the green. Just a couple of missed strikes, let it down a little bit. But with the ping, it hit more fairways. I had to get used to it. Those first two tee shots were, weren't great, really poorly struck. But into the wind, that ping driver hit fairways. I'm gonna do one last little test. We'll see if my mind can switch from the fun and exciting Callaway or the sensible ping. I've got one last test for these two drivers. I've got my Flyscope Mevo Plus set up on the third hole here at Spalding Golf Club. A par five, playing downwind today. It's simple, which driver goes the furthest and hits more fairways? The test is gonna be a head-to-head -head point scoring match. You get one point for hitting the fairway and you get one point for which one drives the furthest. Now I've got three balls each, so we should have a winner by the end of this test. I'm gonna start with the Callaway. Aim at that bunker on the left-hand side, let it fade back in. Let's see how far it carries. Is it just gonna catch the fairway or not? That might have kicked in towards the fairway. I'll have to go and have a look. That carried 260 and a bit of a bottom strike, so the spin was up. Next up, the ping. Touch and go whether that Callaway hit the fairway there, but carried 260. Not sure about that one. It's definitely missed the fairway, that one, and it's further right than the Callaway. I'm gonna say that the Callaway was in play and it flew further. Ping only carrying 240 yards there. Two points to nothing for the Callaway. Round two. Wind's just died down a little bit. All oh, that's left. Definitely missed the fairway. But it's pretty safe over there on the fourth fairway, so it's not a terrible shot, especially into this par five. That carried exactly 269 yards. This ping hasn't been carrying as far as that, to be honest. But can it hit a fairway? 269 to beat and a fairway to hit. Oh no, that is a terrible shot. Probably hit a fairway though. So we're gonna give it a point for the fairway. Came off the top of the club and only went 190 yards. I've really been misstriking this ping. Ping really boasts about the stability of their drivers and I'm just not quite getting it with it. But it did hit a fairway, so a point to it there. That's three one to the Callaway, one ball to go. The best the ping can hope for is a tie, yeah? It's gone left again, the, the Callaway. It's so safe over there though, it's not a massive issue. And that's carried 281.6 yards. That's massive for the likes of me. Absolutely massive for me. I've lost my bloody tee again. Ah, oh, there it is. I haven't had that sort of carry out the ping at all today. Last chance saloon for it. It's got to go. Oh, it's right down the middle. That's a perfect drive. That was the most accurate drive of this test and it carried 264 yards. Absolutely nothing wrong with that drive, but I just prefer the Callaway. So that's the end of the video, and that's the end of the test, and that's the end of a long day of reviewing both these drivers. Both drivers performed better than my current driver, which is the Ping G425 LST, but I've really, really enjoyed hitting that Callaway. And that's the driver that's gonna go in my bag. The Callaway AI Smoke, what a driver. Now I've gotta go and find all of these balls. Thanks for taking the time to watch the video and I'll see you in the next one. Like and subscribe.